hello there so we are going to analyze this socket which has an amplifier with the gain a and it is a difference amplifier it means it amplifies the difference between the two inputs which is applied to the negative pin and the positive pin as shown so to the positive pin we have applied the ground potential and to the negative pin we have externally applied signal source vs and uh, between positive and the negative input we see that there is a capacitor cp that is a parasitic capacitance it is due to the operational amplifiers or different amplifiers internal uh, structure now we have a capacitance uh, connected c of x between the input voltage source vs and the negative pin and uh, what we see now there is in the feedback path the output is fed back to the input so there is a negative feedback because we feed back the output to the negative pin through this combined network a parallel combination of CF and RF so they make up their effective impedance let's call it feedback impedance ZF and there is the impedance of this capacitor let's call it as a ZI that is this one so since the amplifier is configured in an inverting mode why i am saying it is an inverting mode because we say that the gain of amplifier is very high and because of that the output divided by the gain is the vid that's the differential input between the two pins of the op amp so if the gain tends to infinity the vid the difference between the two inputs tends to zero and that means if the positive pin is at zero potential the negative pin also comes at zero potential making this parasitic capacitance cp virtually short so this concept of virtual short happens with the assumption that the gain of the amplifier is extremely high practically it is 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 7 for practical op amps and ideally it's infinite that helps us to simplify the analysis now this is short there is a virtual short so there is a ground potential at the negative pin also and then we apply a KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law at this node which says the input current IC is equal to the the feedback current that is the current flowing through the combination of this impedance parallel combination of CF and RF and then we say that IC is equal to IF IC is Vs minus 0 will that be the case yes and derivative of that signal because the current through the capacitor IC would be the value of that capacitor multiplied by dVs minus uh, divided by dt and Vs is the voltage difference across the capacitor C so that's the value of IC and IF would be let me write IF would be equal to 0 minus VO divided by ZF that is ZF is the parallel combination of CF that is the impedance of CF or reactance of CF which is 1 over J omega cf in parallel with rf so plug in that value here and once you know the values of ic and if if is the current that is flowing in the feedback branch 
you can get the expression by VO over VI which is the closed loop gain of this circuit so in the comment section write what would be the gain of this circuit or what would be the output of this circuit that's an exercise left for you so this is how we can simplify the analysis of the amplifiers differential amplifiers if we know the concepts right and hope you like this video if you did so click the like button subscribe to our channel share it for a wider use and stay tuned for more engaging contents like this till then wish you happy learning